For years, Bloomington's old town hall was an unremarkable building, but at one time, it was a neighborhood gem. In its heyday, Old Town Hall served as a multi-purpose center for residents, a venue for public meetings, church services, and social gatherings. Since 1964, the building housed a museum for the Bloomington Historical Society. Previous improvements to Old Town Hall had lost their luster. The stucco was cracking and fading to a gloomy gray hue. The roof was in disrepair, and the wood was rotting. The list of repairs was extensive, if the building remained as is, one of the last remaining early architectural reminders of Bloomington's past will become a memory. Well, it actually goes back to the 60s. We had uh, people like Foster Dunwoody who really wanted to get the building restored. Francis Burns uh, wanted so much to see it restored. The Bloomington City Council was listening. In January 2004, the City Council hired SMSQ architects to conduct a study of the building. The firm recommended preserving Old Town Hall as a reminder of Bloomington's history and establishing the building as a citywide landmark and neighborhood gathering place. Staff from SMSQ inspected Old Town Hall from top to bottom, as well as solicited input from the community. The firm also identified five potential reuses for the structure. So we do need a timeline. SMSQ presented this information to the Bloomington City Council, but a slightly different path was chosen. In April 2006, the council decided to do a phase one restoration of the Old Town Hall building in site, having determined that the three proposals submitted for Old Town Hall's use were not financially viable. The council requested staff to prepare a lease agreement establishing the Bloomington Historical Society as the tenant. As part of the agreement, the Historical Society was asked to raise $140,000 as their share of the Phase II costs. The renovation of Old Town Hall was a go, but the construction crews weren't sure what they would find. When you start working with an old building, you have a potential for a lot of problems. But a lot of thought and detail went into the pre-planning of this project, so we, we ran into minimal difficulties. Uh, it turned out a lot better than I think than what anybody expected. It wasn't difficult to see that dramatic changes to the building's exterior would significantly improve its appearance. Codet architects knew that staying true to the architectural details of the historic building would yield a major impact. And they spent a lot of time going through the old photos because that was the only thing that really existed to give us a clue on how the building really looked and uh, they were able to determine that, uh, that there was wood siding underneath, uh, underneath the stucco siding. And so as we peeled off some of the old layers, it gave us a clue of what was really there. A lot of the upfront work was done through the historical people and the architects as to determine what the outcome of the look of the building was. So code-wise, all the building materials on here more than meet today's minimum codes for building a building. With the plans in place, there's still a lot of work to be done. In March 2007, crews from Ferrick's Construction Company and the City of Bloomington's Public Works Department began to transform the building. The stucco was cut away using a circular saw. The two-story reinforced concrete vault on the west side of the building was removed since it wasn't original to the structure. The decayed asphalt shingles were stripped off the roof to make way for the authentic cedar shingles. The 115-year-old windows were replaced with particle board during construction. A cupola, which is a small ornamental structure rising from a roof, reappeared on Old Town Hall. The original structure was removed many years ago. Another element which returned the building back to its original appearance is the wood siding. It was primed and painted white to match Old Town Hall. The original window panes were reinstalled. Storm windows were added for energy efficiency with the approval of the State Historic Preservation Office. The arch window shutters are replicas of the original frames with the gingerbread trim. Old paint chips were used to match the warm brick red paint color. Other decorative touches can be spotted at the roof's apex. Ferrix has uh, really top-notch uh, carpenters and they did a really an excellent job. The exterior changes are breathtaking. However, the area surrounding the building's entrance needed to be brought up to today's building code. 
It was important to be able to get uh, the building accessible so people in wheel wheelchairs and uh, difficulty walking or whatever would be able to get up into the building. It was not that way before. So now it can service anyone who'd like to come and visit the facility. Additional changes include improved parking, a brick patio, a flagpole and decorative signage. While the exterior of Old Town Hall received a lot of attention, the interior received a little TLC as well. The walls were painted and a sprinkler system was installed on both levels of the building. The staff of the Bloomington Historical Society will call through the thousands of artifacts currently stored at the city's garage. The Society plans a more extensive use of the space and will increase their hours of operation. We're excited about our programming. Um, our interpretive plan calls for rotation of all our exhibits, as I mentioned. Uh, the exhibit cases will be dedicated to certain subjects, basically to cover the different phases of history, the Dakota, the early peoples, the frontier, the coming of the Euro-Americans, um, the development of Bloomington, the schools, uh, military, so forth and so on, with rotating kiosks in the center. We'll be doing a lot of uh, f photos, um, enlargement of photos, which will hang in the upper areas above exhibit cases, which will be quite spectacular. We're working on our gallery. The total renovation of historic Old Town Hall is not yet complete, but residents are thrilled that the city of Bloomington elected to save a precious piece of the city's history. Just to see a, a remnant of the olden days when, when this was available to us as City Hall, and the fact that it actually is now going to be again renovated for people to see what it was like in the olden days. My husband, on the other hand, was sure that it would never be renovated to anything that would look decent, and he has since had to eat every single word. I think any time you can preserve something like this, it's a good thing, because so much of the history of Bloomington is based on those type of things, and the people coming will be able to visualize what they're talking about. I'm very pleased. I, 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 Bloomington, I think, needs, should be congratulated for its uh, care about its roots. It's a wonderful result of years of plans and preparations, and so exciting to see this transformation. And uh, very special thanks to the City Council and the Mayor who were just so wonderful in their support of the Historical Society. Six months and $740,000 later, Old Town Hall has transitioned from faded glory to crowning glory, ready to record the next chapters in Bloomington's rich history. History never ends in Bloomington. And now we have a newly restored building to continue our work of preserving artifacts of telling the story of the people that have come and gone over 12,000 years of history. It's a place where we can connect with the community. They've been a part of this, it's their building, and we intend to carry on.